as you might see in the title, in this video, I'm going to teach you how on earth to get by your school filtering system. Now these filtering systems are a pain in the butt, and sometimes they block completely stupid things. So, a few things you'll need. You'll need a decent internet connection, both upload speeds and download speeds. Two, you'll need a computer that's always on, always connected to the internet at all times. Um, three, at your school, you're going to need Firefox installed. Or, if you want, you can get a flash drive and install uh, Firefox Portable onto it. Um, go to www.portableapps.com uh, and download it there. Um, basically, what we're going to do is set up an SSH server, which is Secure Shell. For those people that don't know, it allows you to remotely log into your Mac or Linux computer. This does apply to Linux computers. You just have to figure out how to set up the open SSH server first. But for the Mac, this is for all Macs, not just OS X server. This is also OS X client edition. System preferences. This is nearly the same for 10.5 too. Um, go to sharing and check off remote login. Check this off. And then, whatever your username is, take that short name, and um, that would be your login name. For me, it would be admin. Um, for somebody else's name, say it's John Doe, um, it most likely would be John. Uh, that's all you have to do, literally. Uh, make sure it's connected to the internet, and you're set. And then, since most computers at schools are, well, most desktop computers at school are Windows, we'll go ahead and go over to a Windows machine. Okay, we'll go over here. And then you also need to download and install PuTTY. And once again, if you have a flash drive, you won't have to do this every time you log into your school computer. Go to portableapps.com and download the portable version of Putty. But since this is my home computer, home server, I'll, I already have it installed. So this is what Putty looks like. Um, you're going to need to get your IP address um, every day, most likely. Um, you can have it emailed to yourself automatically using iCal, which is what I do. Or you can have Dyn DNS set up, which gives you a domain name like example.com um, and it will update your IP address to that um, at an interval say like every 10 hours or so or every 24 hours but I'm just going to use my local IP address because I really don't want to broadcast my domain name that I use um, that's the internal don't use that it won't work for you then we're going to go down the tunnels, we're going to source port, and you can pick any number above 1024. For all you care, you can put lead in. Um, I usually use port 5600 because it's used by nothing else, and because I just like that number, I don't know why. Oops. Um, don't click add yet, by the way. Come down here to dynamic, click this radio button, then click add, then you can go ahead open it and then you can go ahead and click yes to this or if you're really uh, paranoid you can check this number against the your computer number to make sure it is your computer that you're connecting to and remember what I said you need to figure out your username well mine's admin and then your password I would suggest a very long password or use keys you won't be able to see what you type in because that's a security feature. And there we go. I logged in. That's all you need to do. Then you can go ahead and minimize this window. And like I said before, you need Firefox. So open up Firefox. There we go. Go to Tools, Options. Go to Advanced tab. This is uh, version. 
3.0, I believe. Network tab, settings, go to manual proxy configuration, ignore all this stuff right here. I should have deleted this stuff. And come down to socks, type in 127.0.0.1, and the port which we put in, 5600. And a lot of articles seem to admit this, but you want to delete all this stuff right here. Because otherwise it would disable proxy for what you just typed in. Click OK. Click OK. And then you should be able to access the internet. Um, it basically reroutes the, all your internet access through your computer at home. Uh, so basically it's your own personal proxy. It's nothing like kproxy.com or vtunnel. Um, however, this might break your terms of service with the school. Personally, my school, um, Ms. Um, our IT guy does not care. The only reason we have the filters in place is because our principal is paranoid about Facebook and MySpace for some unre unknown reason. So he knows that we do this stuff. Well, at least the tech kids at school. Um, and he's fine with it. And he thinks it's kind of cool. So, please check. Make sure you're not going to get expelled from the school. Or even just banned from the computer system. Because that would really suck. Just for trying to get onto Facebook an hour before you, your school lets you out. Um... By the way, that was logging into an SSH server on um, Windows computers. If you want to do the same thing on a Mac, just go to Terminal, open Terminal up, and create a new shell, and type in SSH um, hyphen D, and then your username, and min and then the little at sign shift to at your IP slash domain name well your IP or your domain name not both press enter oh I'm sorry about that I should put the number in remember after the D put the, your port number in um, and then you would be usually be asked to type in your password but I have a key system set up um, that enables me to automatically log in without having to enter a password. So if you're having problems with this, post in the comment or comment section or email me. Or um, here I'll just put my email right here because you guys can see it. Um, Cabri C A at Gmail dot com. And that's all. And a lot of people think you're like people think you're God if you get by the filter. Also, your um, school might block port 22, which is what this operates on. So, if your school blocks port 22, you're pretty much SOL, and you need to get your parents to port forward on your router port 22 to the computer that you're using and make sure you have a dynamic IP address on that computer. Otherwise, it would not work very well and it would be useless. So thanks for watching and please don't get kicked out of school.